It's a question we've been asking for months. Who was Maria Duval? Maria Duval, who is Maria Duval? What the name Maria Duval means to you? To some, a gifted psychic. To others, the face of one of the biggest cons in history. She is a scam. She is fake. She is a bottom feeder. Very clever. The worst criminal. The world-renowned psychic. Quelqu'un de sérieux et de compétent. She was like an actress in a theater, always saying, I can predict the future. She is a leech that will suck you dry of all of your money. This was a woman who lived her life with a very high level of integrity. She was certainly ripping people off. She was breaking the law. Shame on you, Maria Duval. But our fascination didn't start there. It started with a pile of junk mail we received. It was all originally sent to two American women, one suffering from brain cancer, the other with dementia. In the pile, there was a letter from a psychic, Patrick Guerin, from a company called Destiny Research Center. We did a little digging. It turns out that self-proclaimed psychics frequently target the elderly and financially desperate all over the world. And the biggest name in this massive shadow industry? Maria Duval. Je regarde, je regarde, je me concentre dans la boule. Je me concentre dans la boule. The scam seemed simple. Send in money, and in return, she'll use her psychic abilities to improve your fortune. The letters double down on people who respond, asking for locks of hair and personal photos. In return, people receive things like crystals that supposedly contain cosmic energy. I found out that she was getting lucky amulets and talismans and, and letters written personally to her. She would send him these little trinkets and it would bring him wealth and money. All of the various ritualistic tasks that you thought were personally going to get to Maria Duval herself would be thrown in the garbage. The caging service would open the envelopes as fast as they could, process the payment, and they would throw everything else away. They would throw away your locks of hair. They would throw away the pieces of paper where you traced your hand, and they were thrown in the garbage by the thousands each week. At first, it appeared to be a pretty unsophisticated scheme, but its scale is massive. In the U.S. and Canada alone, it allegedly raked in over $200 million from nearly one and a half million people. I see people here in my country who had paid more than 2,000 euro to receive nothing. My father was responding to junk mail of her spending her money. It was close to 400, if not more. My mother was 80 years old and suffering with onset Alzheimer's. I came across checks that she was writing weekly in the amount of $59 each time. And then I found checks that she'd written even twice, twice a week and twice a day. And all of these checks added up to over $2,400 in the span of a year. What was this like for you to see someone take advantage of your mom like this? Oh. It, it was so painful. People spend an enormous amount of money on hope, on good fortune. They want to believe, and that's a very, very powerful emotion that's very hard to overcome. But where did all that money go? And who is Maria Duval? Is she even real? We don't know who Maria Duval is. We've never spoken to or met with Maria Duval. We don't know if Maria Duval herself is even associated with the mailings that were coming to the United States. She's a real person, but I don't know her real name. I don't think she's real, and I think that they just took this stock photo and put a name on it. This was a woman who is real. I think she's still living in the south of France. An old lady. Early 80s. An older French woman with platinum blonde hair and icy eyeshadow did a stint of TV and YouTube appearances claiming to be the clairvoyant. You asked me the question, how can we have this name? I'm very happy of me. It's been 50 years that I work. It's been 50 years that we have the majority of the testimonies of satisfaction. For decades, international law enforcement agencies have tried to track her down. No one has succeeded. The list of victims still grows as they're scammed out of millions of dollars every year. J'estime que je suis un ange. J'ai dédié ma vie à aider les autres. Is she a con artist or is someone else pulling the strings? We are determined to find out.